Introducing down to your puppy in three simple steps. Step one involves using a food lure. You're gonna take a treat and hold it to your puppy's nose and slowly and gently move them in the direction you'd like them to go. When they get in the direction you want, you'll release the treat so they know they did the correct thing. We're gonna use that concept with teaching down. As you can see, Bentley in this video is very interested in the treat in my hand. I've not introduced a word yet, simply I'm trying to get him to follow my hand into the down position. I'm keeping contact with his nose and slowly pulling his nose to the ground. I'm waiting for him to completely lay flat with his chest on the ground before I release the treat. Most dogs do better from a sit to a down, but Bentley here is very wiggly and I'm having a hard time achieving that. You can see I'll pull his nose to the ground and if I lose contact, I bring my hand immediately back to his nose. There's some techniques you can use here like trying to pull the treat down and away from his body or pull the treat down and in between his legs. Each dog has their own preference and I want you to be patient during this time because it could take a very long time to get the results. I slowed down the video here so you can see as soon as he lays down, the treat is released. At the same time, I'm saying yes. So let's look at this again. Treat to the ground. He's pawing, I'm just waiting him out. He's trying to figure out how do I get it? How do I get it? And the moment his chest hits the ground, I'm gonna say yes and release that treat. It's important that you notice that each repetition, it gets easier and easier for your puppy. If your puppy walks away from you and is not interested in the training session, go to your fridge and grab something super yummy that they don't normally get. That will help incentivize them to stick around and try harder. With each rep, you're gonna notice that it's becoming easier and easier for Bentley. Once your puppy's getting the hang of it, you can stand up, say down, lure your puppy to the ground, yes, and then release the treat. If you can get five reps that look like this, you're ready to move on to yes. step two. Step two is removing the treat from your hand and instead hiding it somewhere else. You're gonna pretend like you have the treat and surprise them with it from a different location. Each rep, you're gonna get higher towards the sky until your hand is no longer needed. You might notice some of these behaviors like circling or barking, which is some frustration and that's okay. But if it happens every single repetition, go back to step one. Step three is just using a verbal cue without any prompts from your hand. In this step, you might wait a couple of seconds before your puppy yes. figures out what you want. Down. It's important to be quiet and yes. let them problem solve. If they're too confused, you can help them by going back to step two or step one. You may notice that I'm now giving multiple treats for laying down. This is gonna help create duration in our down position and help us with stay later on. Make sure while you're practicing, you're saying the word once and only once. Try not to repeat the word. It's going to just make your puppy confused and not listen to you on the first time, every time. It's also important that when you go outside to understand that there's a lot of competing distractions out there, you wanna make sure you're more exciting than the environment. So that might mean bringing out high value food. It might also mean starting from step one. Don't expect that because they can lay down on a verbal cue inside with low distractions, that they will be able to do that outside with competing distractions. With enough practice, you'll get there in time.